Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video showing you how to get HD texture packs to work with the Messen NES emulator in RetroArch for Android devices. In my case, I'm playing the Retroid 4 Pro. There are tutorials on how to do this online. However, I noticed a couple people, including myself, struggling to get this to work. We'll put the right files in the right spots with the correct names, but when we run the ROM, for some reason the texture packs don't appear. We still have the retro graphics. Once I got this all figured out and found out what's going on, I discovered that there's one small detail that these tutorials are missing. But before we get into that, let's actually follow what the tutorials tell us to do. First thing is go into files. From there, go into our internal memory. Look for the RetroArch folder that gets installed with RetroArch. And then look for the system folder. Now, here's the interesting thing. When I first tried to do this, the system folder actually didn't exist. I had to create it. So that was the first red flag for me, that something wasn't right with that. Anyway, select systems and then create this folder exactly as it's uh, written. Capital H for HD, capital P for PAX. And then from there, I put the PAX in. The one we're gonna be testing around with is Super Mario Brothers 1 since the texture packs aren't too, uh, too beefy and easy to move around. Anyway, Here's the thing, when we go into RetroArch and actually run the game, you're gonna see I still have the retro graphics. The tutorial suggests for you to go into the core options and double check that enable HD packs is enabled. I think for me that was enabled by default. But even though it's enabled, still getting the retro graphics. So here's the detail that's actually missing from those tutorials. What you want to do is you want to go into the settings area. Now, if your menu looks a little different, it's because uh, in mine, I changed it to look like the classic PSP layout, but it should be the same no matter what layout you have. You're going to go into the, the I think this is called the options menu. From there, go down to directory, all the names are the same. And then check your systems BIOS directory here. I changed where this points to because I had all my BIOS folders on the actual micro SD. So that's what those numbers are right there. Believe it or not, this actually changes the RetroArch system folder, even though it doesn't have that same name. And that probably could be why a system folder didn't exist in the RetroArch folder. I'm not sure though. Could just be just a personal thing for me, I guess. But anyways, now I guess the BIOS folder that I'm pointing to here is the system folder. So with that knowledge, we can then go back to files. I am going to actually copy this I'm not gonna copy over the whole folder because it's gonna take a little while. I'll do that on my own time. Go into wherever you cause the system folder to point to, in my case, BIOS. From there, this is where you wanna create that HD packs folder. As you see, I already created it. From here, I'll have Mega Man in there. That's interesting. <laughs> All right, so anyway, um, I'm gonna just copy that Super Mario right into there. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Oh, I did a copy. Well, anyways, I have it in two spots. Let's go back. For good measure, I'm actually gonna close RetroArch. I'm gonna double check to make sure that we have the Super Mario texture packs in the folder and it's copied. BIOS, HD packs, it looks like it's there. Yeah, it goes pretty quick. All right, and now if everything went correctly, we should run it and we should get the HD, there we go, HD texture, if you call that HD, I guess HD, yeah. HD texture pack. All right. And that's all I've got, really. See? Look at that. Hooray. All right, and that's actually it. If you have any additional questions, you can definitely leave some comments and I can try to help you out, but it's as simple as that. Once again, real fast, all you wanna do is make sure that you have, well, this is kinda of unique to me, but make sure that wherever you put the HD packs folder, make sure it is in the directory you have specified here. So maybe when you installed it, it put it into an odd spot, who knows, or maybe you changed it and didn't remember. Uh, but whatever this is pointing to, that's where you want the HD pack folder. And that's it. Thanks for watching.